Hello everybody, it's Ashwin. And today's video brings a recraft of a pair of shoes that I was able to score off of the used market in very used condition in rare shell cordovan. And this is an Alden split toe derby made out of Ravello shell cordovan done on the Aberdeen last recrafted by Wyatt and Dad out of North Carolina. So I wanted to take you through this shoe as well as the recraft process because it's another way to secure a relatively rare pair of shoes, put some work and your own pride into the pair and turn it into something that's uniquely yours. I partnered with Wyatt and Dad due to a positive experience that I had in the past working with them to recraft a pair of Florsheim Imperials they did a wonderful job adding their own character and style, but for this particular pair, I wanted to emulate the look of the commando sole that Alden uses in some of their models. Ordering a pair of rare shell cordovan of any style from a local brick and mortar vendor, such as brick and mortar here in Seattle, can take many months to even years. When Rare Shell comes on the market, the buyer may not always have the opportunity to pick which color of shell, which model, what style, or what sole is available to them through that purchase. And I had the rare opportunity to find this particular pair in Ravello Shell, which has long appealed to me because of its red-brown color and unique changing color with different light in a style that was preferable to me in my preferred size. The previous owners to me seem to have taken some pride in allowing this shoe to develop a unique and distinct character without the wear and tear that old shell cordovan can develop over time. I checked it over for any obvious flaws which would lead to failure of cordovan such as any cracks or fissures or gouges. I then used a variety of cleaner and conditioner products, initially using saddle soap from Fibings to clean off old wax, dirt, and grime. And then I conditioned the leather further using a walnut cream paste from my favorite shoe care product, Pure Polish product, as well as some additional work with a sleeking bone and a deer bone in order to smooth out some of the rolls. What you can see here is my best effort to have accomplished this, getting out most of the rolls, but you can still see some areas of discoloration along the prior roll areas. However, the stitches and welt and toe all appear to be in good order, as well as the hand-sewn apron that you can see here. I sent the shoe off to Wyatt and Dad for recrafting as described applying a commando style sole, a natural edge welt with a reasonable color match to the Ravello shell. I used a commando sole on the heel as well. And what you see here is the outcome of this process. I wanted to draw you into the details of the shoe as well as to pan out and show you the big picture. And I hope you've had a chance to appreciate what I've done here to get a pair of Ravello Shell Norwegian Split Toe Derbies to come back to life for another life on my feet, refreshed, revived, and recrafted. I'm excited about the outcome and I hope you are as well. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the process that I took in restoring this pair of Alden Norwegian Split Toe Derbies in a Ravello shell cordovan, which would have been very difficult for me to secure new. I put a lot of elbow grease into this project. I had an expert in Wyatt and Dad recraft the soles of this shoe to give it new life, to make it uniquely mine. And I encourage you to do the same as you look through the market for your own pairs of shoes. Not every pair has to be new. Think about the recraft process. Consider partnering with a brand like Wyatt and Dad and have at it. Hope you're doing well. Have a good day and I'll see you on the next one.